Hello and thank you for joining me on another video. We are doing something a bit different today. We're doing a dark web unboxing. But before we get into the main portion of the video, I need to say a few things beforehand. When I recorded this video, it was to be a simple dark web unboxing, but it ended up being anything but simple. I say it in the video, but I've recorded a few unboxings before, but they have always turned out boring and wouldn't make a particularly entertaining video, so I never uploaded them. This unboxing has led to a lot of trouble and a lot of police investigation. I will show you the actual unboxing now and will update you at the end of the video about what's been happening. Hello and welcome to this video, um, which is a deep web unboxing. Um, this isn't the first deep web box I've ever opened. I've done three or four, but you've never seen them because they've all been pretty disappointing. Um, obviously, when you do these things, you hope to get something a bit disturbing, something that you can look further into, um, but they were basically all tat, really. Um, so yeah, if you've seen this, then be assured that there's at least something slightly interesting in it for me to make this video. Um, so yeah, this box, which is here, it did come in um, parcel paper. Um, I took that off and it's this weird dirty black box with this weird symbol on it, um, which hopefully you can see. If not, I will put pictures up. Or what it looks like. Um, yeah, one thing that obviously you won't be able to experience is the stink. This box absolutely fucking stinks. Um, of what I don't know. It smells like rotting vegetation. Um, so I'm not holding out much hope, but we will get into it and we'll see what we get. Um, so I'll just. Cut this. Wow, that smell has just got a whole lot worse. Okay. Um, yes, we're going to have a bit of an issue right now because... This package is completely wrapped in barbed wire. <laughs> hmm. Hopefully you can see that here. This is, yep, that is real owl barbed wire. Um, it's wrapped in some bag with Christmas tape wrapped around it. Um, and there is writing on this box. Um, no, hold on, let me take this package out without maiming myself. Right, okay. Okay, so hopefully... I will read what's on it. I will put pictures up as well of what's actually written on this box. This one says, you have no idea what you've done. Okay. The next one says, you have no idea what I've done. And then the third one says, hell is empty. The devils are right here. And the last one says, three fallen angels. One fallen prince, many, many more to come. Okay, well that's <laughs> odd. And there is some more writing inside. It says, barbed wire not stop you, question mark. And you were warned. Okay. I mean, I wasn't warned. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was wrapped in barbed wire, which I will have to... Um, get out so we need to do a jump cut now and I'll have it unwrapped and we see what we get
Right, so as you can see, we've got the barbed wire off. Um, yeah, that is real barbed wire. God, that took a long time for me to actually undo, but we're here. Um, I will leave the stuff in the bag. I'll just take one item out at a time. Hopefully I don't get maimed or stabbed by something else that's in here. But already this has been by far the most um, eventful of the openings I've done. Actually, is this read? Oh, I ain't got gloves on, but I'll go gently. See what we got. We've got a bar of soap. I feel like one of those uh, fashion YouTubers talking about a new product, but yeah, this is a lemon zest bar of soap. I definitely won't be using the soap. Um, yeah, it's a bar of soap which I won't be using, but oh. Okay, there is actually a USB drive stuck in the soap. That's very, very intriguing. Um, obviously, um, the soap does actually smell really good, but yeah, there is a USB stick, not drive, a USB stick. Um, inside in paper um yeah after we've unboxed this i will definitely get it fired into an old into a old pc and we'll see what's on there that's very very peculiar um is there anything else in there all that feels Okay, there is a skull. It's definitely not a a real human skull. It is it's that resin. Um, yeah, it's, uh, to be fair, it's actually quite a nice ornamental piece. But yeah, it's definitely not a real human skull. It's got a hole in the top. Okay, that's... Okay. <laughs> I'm a bit stunned, really. Um... What we got here, we have got a child's book. That's not my flamingo. Okay, it's definitely just a book. I'm always, I always hate getting child's baby things in these deep well unboxings, but yeah, that's definitely just a book. Um. Whack, whack. Rubber duck again. Just a rubber duck. Okay, this is just going to be all bloody children's toys. It's a. What's that, the hungry caterpillar? Okay, this. This unboxing is going downhill so bad. Um, we have a pair of pliers which would have come bloody handy with our barbed wire. That would have been quite nice. What we got? We have got a jar of dirt. It's literally a jar of <laughs> dirt. Oh god, I haven't got gloves on. I haven't got any in the house. Hold on, where's I use the pliers? Um, is there anything in here? I'm going to have to go in my fingers. Oh, God. What the hell is... What is in here? I might have to take this aside and look for it after. And, yeah, I might have to just... Is there anything in Oh my god, there are teeth. There, oh, there's teeth in here. Oh god. This, oh my god. This tooth. 
Oh my god. That is a real tooth. It actually has a f filling in it. That is a huge, huge tooth. With one big fit. That is absolutely fucking disgusting. Yeah, that is vile. That is a real, real human. Oh, there is more in there. That is hideous. Um. Oh. oh what have we got? There's not too much. Oh, well, there is an old Samsung phone in here. Um. Yeah, it doesn't turn on, um, but I do have some Samsung chargers, so that's definitely something that I will show um, at the end. I'll see if I can get it charged up. And there is a tin foil. Oh, there is. Oh my God! I'm not touching them but there are white pills in here could be any could be anything I have no idea there is no marks on them that is something I am not touching in a million years okay there's actually only one thing this is heavy um, yeah, and it has a, it says, you are my sunshine, with a weird face. God. But yeah, this is a, definitely the last thing in here. There is a hacksaw in here. Um, um, oh, do I want to open this? I'm genuinely scared now that there's human teeth in none of the... Oh, there's... There's something wrapped up in here in tissue paper and it looks soiled. Oh, God. There is... That is a... Hacksaw. Um... Yeah, there is, I don't know if you can see that clearly in the camera, but there is definitely residue on there. I'm slightly freaked out. Don't want to put that on my table. Oh my, do we open this? There is a soiled piece of tissue paper. Um... I'm so... There's a lot of tissue paper and a lot. Oh, this absolutely. The smell of this. <sighs> oh my, there's hair. What the fuck is in this? No, there is hair in. Oh. There is hair. There is human hair. Yep, there is human hair in in here. Um. Yeah, I'm genuinely a bit. I'm a bit freaked out um yeah oh god what is going to be on that usb stick do I, am I, yeah that is human hair we have a human we have human hair human teeth and a stained Oh my god. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm a bit freaked out at the moment. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think the best thing to do is to um, get have a look at the USB and then figure out what the hell we're going to do.
So, that's what was in the dark web box. Because of what was in the box, on top of the photos that were found on the USB stick, I contacted police. It wasn't an easy decision to make, as I didn't want to waste police time. But the photos looked genuine, and I couldn't find them online, so I believed that they were original. So, I spoke to police, and they come and collected the items. I spoke to a detective last week, and although they couldn't tell me all the details, they were able to confirm that the hair was indeed real human hair, and the substance on the tissue paper was blood. The teeth were also real, and appeared to be from at least two different people, one adult and at least one child. I was told I would be contacted as the investigation continues, and I will keep you guys posted whenever I hear anything. One other thing I should mention, although there was a postage stamp on the package, it proved to be fake. The package was never handled by any postal service, it was hand delivered. We have a sign on our front door asking for all packages and mail to be left on the porch as our dog goes crazy whenever the post arrives. As such, we assumed the postman had just left the package there. But no, police were confident that the package was personally left at the house. I usually get the dark web boxes sent to my friend's P.O. box, but he no longer lives nearby. Stupidly, I took the risk and got a box sent to my home. Lesson learned. So yeah, I'm a little freaked out, and I'm very uncomfortable being at the centre of a police investigation. But it is what it is. I promise I'll keep you guys updated whenever I hear anything new. Stay safe, and until next time, long days and pleasant nights.